Hi everyone, welcome to Productease, our video series about products and services of OVH Cloud. Today, uh, we continue this series with uh, the family of storage uh, with Charlotte Latemendia, the queen of memory and uh, uh, product manager on storage. Welcome, Charlotte. Thank you, Fanny. Hello. Alors, can you tell uh, about uh, you, what you do, uh, who are you? Yes, sure. I'm the Charlotte Letamendia. I'm product manager. I have a large background in product management. I like discussing with customer and working with engineer in lab to come out ideas to meet the business, the use case, and uh, to drive project from the proof of concept to the scale of real product and, and scale. I have a background in digital TV industry, and I'm now a product manager storage in OVH Cloud driving the roadmap of product. So if you have petabyte of data, exabyte, I'm very happy to discuss with you. But uh, even if you have a gigabyte or terabyte, uh, we have solution to for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us uh, more about the tendencies of storage uh, on OVH Cloud and uh, generally maybe? Yeah, in, in storage, there is a lot of uh, innovation to come because there is a two main tendency. First, the uh, volume of data is uh, increasing. Uh, one example, last uh, three years, we have produced more data worldly than the last 30 years. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah. so we have to, to learn and to help our customer to manage uh, increasing volume of data. And uh, the value of the data also increase a lot because now we know how to treat the data uh, we can collect more and more data with IoT, with application, mm -hmm. and the data has a, a, a value and it's a big asset for a company. So we have to help our customer to protect their data and to operate uh, easily their data. And uh, how uh, we can help our clients to manage this more and more and more data? We have uh, the tools for that? Yes, for sure. So in OVH Cloud, we have four family of storage, block storage, file storage, object storage, and solution for backup. And we give access to class of storage with standard of the market. Uh, one example, we have redesigned our object storage class with a full S3 API compatible class of storage. So it's very easy to plug an endpoint and to, to operate this data with all the tools of the market. You can upload with AirClone, you can uh, backup your VM virtual application with Vim backup, uh, you can uh, automate your infrastructure with Terraform, and all these tools are uh, usable with our object storage class because of S3 API that is a standard of the mar yeah. market. And how to find the right solution for uh, this uh, workload? Yeah, for different workloads, uh, our customers have in their operation, the idea is to find a good compromise between cost and performances. Mm. You start to upload your data in a class of storage adapted to your current uh, operation, and then you backstage your data in a class of storage uh, more capacitive for your warm data. So today, uh, we have launched, this year we have launched uh, six class of storage mm -hmm. in object storage high performance standard called archive. In file storage, we have open enterprise grade uh, file storage class for uh, performance and guaranteed bandwidth. So we have more than double our numbers of uh, class of storage. So the, all the users can optimize and operate their data with more granularity to find the right balance between performance and cost. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Okay, we have a lot of startups who use a lot of uh, data more and more, but they need a real fast access. Uh, do we have solution for, for that? Yes, for capacitive storage with a frequent access, we have a new object storage standard class uh, that we are launching now. That is uh, very interesting because at 6.5 euro per tera, mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, interesting. And we have a value that is important in the H clause that's the predictivity of price. So on the top of this storage price, we don't charge the bandwidth. Inbound bandwidth is free. Outbound is free when it's to OVH server. Mm -hmm. And we don't charge API uh, to request uh, data. 
So this uh, class of storage is adapt adaptive for, for a large scope of usage, media, else, uh, metrics, analytics, logs, backup. It's very interesting. Yeah, a lot of startups can be interested in that. And um, another case, it's uh, for example for uh, the space startups, the new space with a lot of data. They need to storage, but for a long time, don't access uh, so so every day. Uh, do you have another type of storage for, for this type of data? Yes, to archive, we have designed a class of storage for long duration. Uh, an infrequent access. It's called cold archive, yeah. and we have designed this class of storage on the magnetic band. Why ma ma magnetic band? For the duration, we can keep data for years, up to 10 years. Uh, it's low carbon, interesting for archive. Yeah. We are talking about exabyte of data if we look at all our customers. So we have built libraries of tape in four data centers in France, and the data that is stored for 1.3 euro per tera, it's interesting huh, also, really? <laughs> <laughs> per month, uh, the data is stored in four data centers. So it's a very resilient class of storage. You can lose the data center without losing your, your, your uh, yeah. data. So um, it's uh, to back up the backup, and it's also for uh, health and media to backstage the primary data storage because uh, quickly it's a petabyte of data. Yes. Do you have any advice for the startup, the company, about the resilience, the backup? What is the, the best uh, tips to, to, to make a, a good backup <laughs> and don't have uh, troubles? <laughs> Yeah, so to, to design the good backup, uh, you have to identify, you want to prevent your data from which risk. And the, the breach of uh, security can come from different uh, types to protect against uh, human error, and it, it, it happens. Uh, each month we see uh, the company coming to us, uh, please uh, help us, we have uh, delayed our data, what can we do? Yeah. So error human is, human error is uh, current. For that, uh, I will advise to do snapshot, current uh, automating snapshot. And for our enterprise file storage, we have included the snapshot in the price of the offer. And we have a, a feature to set up uh, um, regular snapshot daily, by hour, by month. Uh, and these snapshots are managed by OVH Cloud. To protect against uh, attack, so ransomware yeah. <laughs> is a big topic. Uh, last year, the numbers of attacks has doubled, uh, 600 million of attacks per year. Um, to protect against attack, uh, we have the features of uh, our object storage called S3 Lock. And I will advise to use this feature. It's, it's let the possibility to put, to give immutability to the backup. Mm -hmm. So to lock them and to define a governance rule and to be sure that nobody can delay the backup. Yeah. That's important to follow. That's again attacks. And the last point is to protect again a, a major event, the, the loss of a data center. And for that, for sure, you need to uh, clone your data uh, in, a, in two different regions, two different technology uh, to follow the three to one uh, rule. Yeah, this is uh, the basics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, why? What, what are the advantages of OVH Cloud? We have very important value of we are open, reversible, price predictive. And uh, we like to listen to our customers, to exchange with them, so to our users. So I invite everybody to discuss with us directly through GitHub, through Discord, to look at our lab page, to uh, participate to the beta test and give the feedback. Uh, we are open and we'll ask uh, discussing with the uh, users. Okay, maybe we can put the, the link uh, yes. in uh, the, the YouTube channel and uh, other uh, that yeah. we can start this exchange <laughs> with our customer. And uh, last question, do you have new products arrive? Do, can you tell? Te I can to, tease. You can tease. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we are launching soon a, a low latency block storage class for uh, AI. Uh, um, and uh, activity who needs very responsive mm -hmm. uh, class. Uh, and then we have uh, other uh, class of storage to come and innovation. Uh, let's okay. uh, follow on GitHub. A nice year for you. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> for you and your team. Okay, thank you very much, Charlotte, uh, for you, this Fanny. time, and uh, see you soon for new products. Yeah. And now this is the time for the use case with the startup CareMap. And now I'm with uh, Antoine Lefebvre, the CareMap CEO. Hi, Antoine. Hi, Fanny. Uh, welcome in Productees. Uh, um, can you explain uh, to us uh, who you are and uh, what is your startup? What are you doing? So CareMap is a supplier of strategic geospatial information extracted from satellite imagery. Our strength are to handle time and cost-effective artificial intelligence techniques. Um, the company was created five years ago, and we are 16 people working here at the moment. Uh, we have a product named Nimbo, and uh, our Nimbo solution provides turnkey analytics on land use. For example, it provides a base map updated every month made with satellite data over the Europe and the whole Middle East. We also have a focus on real-time field and crop monitoring up to the continental scale, and all this data we produce help the farming industry to address some supply chain optimization issues also to quantify some environmental benefit provided by the transition to sustainable agriculture practices. Okay, thank you. Why do you have choose uh, to work with OVH Club, the like provider? Uh, for this question, I got, I, got, I think about two main keywords, is sector and local. We in CareMap produce and deliver sensitive, high-value added data to our customer, so data security is a paramount force. We need to be sure that our data is safe because it's the core of our business. And we also need to guarantee to our customer that their data is also safe from external interference. And what is important is it like in OVH Cloud, um, you are only subjected to national and European privacy law. So we think that uh, all your services meet this kind of needs. And moreover, my second keyword was about local. We also wanted to work with a local player and our Nimbo product is created and hosted in France. That's why it's totally in line with what we want as a partner and because it's definitely uh, match all our values. Okay. For your pipeline and data life cycle, um, you use several class of storage. Which one uh, have you selected and for which workload? Yeah, so we use mainly block storage and archive storage. Actually, we have some EV workload and we need some storage that offer good IOPS performance. You know, it's about some input and output per second because we have a lot of write and read uh, operation when we process our satellite data. So the storage, um, the block storage is the most uh, relevant for us for this kind of, of use. And moreover, we use some uh, archive uh, storage for, um, for, for backup all our results. Okay. What are the challenges uh, when you process data? It is important to understand that we process very large amount of satellite data every month. It's several dozen of terabytes, which is downloaded and processed, processed uh, every month. So first, what we need, it's a large bandwidth. It is important to understand that we process very large amount of satellite data every month. It's about several dozen of terabytes that is downloaded and processed every month. So first, what we need, it's a large bandwidth. That's something we maybe not have in a small company if you want to process all the data locally. So we can get this through uh, OVH Cloud. Secondly, is to have a Navy workload. We need to manage high performance servers in an efficient way. And because we have to update our database every month, there is no time to lose. And it's really easy with OVH Cloud to uh, deploy some new servers in a, in a few click. And uh, finally, what we need is uh, to have a, a space to store all our data. It's about store our data in some work, workspace where we need uh, some uh, good performance about IOPS and also a safe place to store all the backup and all our results because we process so much 
data and our ba database is so huge that uh, we cannot lost it. He has to be secure in a safe place, so we put that in the cloud. Okay, and do you find all the solutions on the H cloud to protect your data, backup, archive? Yes, at the moment, OVH services meet all the needs we had, uh, and uh, I have nothing to add about this. That's, that's perfect. Cool. How it gives you acceleration and how you can build your business? Uh, OVH cloud and cloud services in general is really good for small entrepreneurs because at the beginning, you cannot invest so much in the hardware and uh, even you cannot have such amount to invest you because of the cloud, thanks to the cloud, you have the ability to process some huge amount of data and to benefit from the huge performance of the cloud. So that's very good to accelerate and to build your, your own business. At the moment in CareMap, we have uh, like a, a hybrid infrastructure. We are a part of our, our servers and the calculation are done locally. And another part is done on OVH cloud. And thanks to the cloud, it's easy to manage some uh, production surpluses. I mean, there's no limit. We can have, of course, here locally, we have some limits because we have like uh, several servers, we can process a large amount of data, but if some other needs come during the months, we can deploy this computation on the cloud and we can have, like, it's like we can quickly uh, process a new country or, or to process new kind of satellite imagery. There's no limit with the cloud. Okay. Can you give us uh, a little bit uh, things about uh, your roadmap build on our products? In the near future, we plan to deploy more and more our processing chain in the OVH cloud. Uh, this will allow us to ensure a better redundancy of our services. Another thing is we are considering using OVH cloud services to deploy the Nimbo backend, because today we use only the OVH cloud services to process our satellite images, but not to provide our result to the client. Tomorrow, this may change. We have more and more customers with our Nimbo product, and these customers come from now everywhere all the world. So it's very important to guarantee a quality of service through the whole world. So and I think we we will have to 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 deploy our backend to 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 ensure this quality of of services, and this can be done with OVH Cloud. Thank you very much, Antoine, uh, for uh, give a response of all these questions. Um, and uh, see you um, soon, I hope, uh, uh, on an event. And for you who watch uh, this uh, productive video, don't hesitate to uh, send me questions for them if you are interested. Thank you. Thank you, Fanny. It was a great pleasure for me. Thank you everyone to have followed this uh, last product tease about storage. Uh, thank you to Charlotte Latemendia and uh, the CEO of CareMap for these uh, testimonies. See you soon and bye-bye. Uh,